Good evening. Arena, it's time. Breakfast in bed. Mom, wake up. Part one. Arena, wake up. Oh. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning, Mom. Wow, what is this? Breakfast in bed. Just for you. Everybody is up except you. We've tried waking you up three times. I'm sorry. And you're running late. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Of course I'm late. Thank you, my darlings. Mom, this suit is perfect. Thank you so much. Are you nervous, my little athlete? No. That's right. The trainer says that I'm more prepared than anybody. That's because you are the most talented. All right, Bye. I'm late. See you later. Good luck. Hey, Mom, is Daddy coming to my competition? Of course he will, my darling. He promised he would. Maybe, will you come too? Tanya, I can't. Because of Daddy? No. You don't want to see him? No, it's because of work, honey. I can't get out of it. I'm sorry. We are going to the cafe after. Maybe you'll be free by then? Maybe. Please call me, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I left a pin on the suit. What? Where? I left a pin here. Oh, okay, my done. God. <laughs> looks good. The suit looks great, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Nobody will think it's homemade. It's perfect. You are my wizard. There is no difference from the original. Go. Just like the magazine. All right, so I'll see you at work. Yes. And you break a leg. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Call me. So, champion, time to get ready. I need to be on time for work after I drop you off. Grandma, I'm ready and you're not. Your hula hoop is not ready yet. Good morning, Ivan. Oh, good morning, Arena. Please, wait. We need to make a decision about the repairs, at least about the smaller changes by winter. Well, I know, Ivan, I know. Huh? How beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. Aren't you going to take the day off? Well, they wouldn't let me oh, take bastards. it. Bastards. On the other hand, Mave is coming. Are mm -hmm. you kidding me? Hello. Hello. So, everybody, 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 come here. Come here, come here. All of you be quick. Hey, you. Yes. Over here now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Is everybody here? Come here, all of you. As the best hotel in the city, we have been given the honor of hosting the seventh International Business Seminar. Wow. So please pay attention to all of our customers' needs and wishes, all right? So don't forget anything. Here we go. Japanese customers in rooms 211 and 226. They look similar, but... God forbid. God forbid if anybody makes a mistake. 
They are from competing companies. It will be enough if you smile and nod at them. Then, in room number 507, take the carpets and drapes off. The guest is allergic. He's bringing his own bed sheets. Be quiet, be quiet, <laughs> Just quiet. Just imagine. A banker has a Mercedes, an account with six figures, but can't breathe. Six figures? How do you know this? <laughs> room 509, the guest has a pet. He is an event planner. Wait, this is the fifth floor. How can I remove hair from corners every 20 minutes? Natasha, it's a small little dog. So deal with it and make sure there are no dog hairs. So, because he's an event planner, he has... A little dog? <laughs> what? What's wrong? Please be quiet. Natasha, the mini bar must always be stocked. Okay. So what about Matvey? Tanya persuaded him to come. He's going to his daughter's competition for once. He hasn't showed up in five years and suddenly he's yes. coming? I said be quiet. And the main guest is Mrs. Stein. Relax, relax, relax. She is our regular customer. So be very patient. You could take my bags. <laughs> this lady is extremely irritable. But you already know all that. You don't need me to explain that to you. One time, she threw a vase at one of the guys. Do you remember <laughs> that fight we had? <laughs> This time, let her throw it at you. Let her throw it, and be very patient. That's all for now. Go to your places, have a good day. Stop, 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 stop. A perfect staff is invisible. What the hell is this? Once more, a perfect staff is invisible. That's all, you can go to your places now. The hotel is full of rich men and I need to be invisible? Bulashina, hang on. I'll be waiting for you by the door. Natasha, hello. I already saw you. We need to talk. What? I need your advice. It's about a girl. Is she the same one or another? The same one. Wasn't it helpful enough last time? No, it wasn't. She's always running away, but I kept thinking the signs were all there. Look, I'm busy now. Okay, when then? Maybe later. Later when? I don't know. If you see me, we can talk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You need to go to the restaurant, and I need to clean after that dog. Go on, go. I don't even know. But why me? Look, she couldn't show me a certificate of completing higher education. This is your chance. Yes, but a personal manager It's is... the same as staff. Order the dinner and just take care of the other things that are relevant to our guests. Hmm? But if he has some special wishes, call me and I'll take care of it. What do you mean by special wishes? Well, Ashina. But please, You are like sir. a little girl sometimes. I don't know what kind of wishes he might have. What if he wants to order... I don't know, dancing bears. Dancing bears? Listen, I can only come to you. Do you know how many problems I have? Yeah. Our plumber started drinking. Drinking? It doesn't matter. An engineer is sick. If it's bears he wants, it's bears he gets. Deal? All yes. right, go get changed uh -huh. now. A management school dropout. If you are good enough at this, I'll promote you to manager. Thank you for this opportunity. Congratulations. Oh, please. A personal manager? That's great. Mr. Gardens, Gordon. 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 Isn't this Mr. Gordon's car? Yes, it's Gordon's car. And how is Mr. Gordon doing? He's doing okay. Is Mr. Gordon canceling his appearance? Please, everyone, Mr. Gordon is okay. He has not canceled his appearance. Are you hiding something? <sighs> Is Mr. Gordon feeling ill? Will he show up tomorrow? Uh, Mr. Gordon, one minute, please, Mr. Gordon. Answer the question, please, Mr. Gordon. Is it true that you've given a limousine to the orphanage? I gave them a bus. Who will be your companion to the governor's ball? I'm going alone. The apartments are great. I tried to take all of your comments from your previous visit. You have the windows facing south, and there's lots of room between the bed and the dressing table. But the room is yellow. I don't like yellow. That is the color of separation. <laughs> I want the blue one. The blue deluxe suite is occupied, unfortunately. So then just make it available. But your room is better. First of all, it's bigger. And second, there's a much better bathroom. But is it also yellow? 
Mr. Gordon, Mr. Gordon, do you have a minute for me, please? Do you have anything to say regarding the gossips about your engagement with the famous actress? I don't know what you're talking about. By the way, this is the guest from the Blue Deluxe Suite. Artem Gordon, 35 years old, millionaire and single. And he's your neighbor. Blue Deluxe Suite is right next door to the yellow apartment. But if you insist, I can relocate you to the higher floor. No, I'll get used to the color yellow. But please, make some changes. Change the tablecloths, curtains. I don't know, do something. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Well, Ashina. Yes, Vasily. Your promotion is canceled. <laughs> canceled? Go to the yellow deluxe suite and change everything from yellow to blue. What am I going to do? I don't know what. Maybe change the curtains, tablecloths, flowers, anything. Of course I'll do that, but what about Gordon? I'll take Gordon myself. So, I didn't assign a new maid, so this is still your floor, understand? Do it! But Mr. Lee. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Everyone wants to know. What's your ideal image of a woman? Is she a blonde, brunette, or a redhead? I don't have an ideal image. Mr. Gordon, how about Asian girl, sir? One more question for our magazine. Who is your ideal woman? You see, it depends on my mood. I've answered you. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, but where are you running off to? Just one minute, please. Everyone, please. Artem will answer your questions later on this evening, I promise. Please tell us, is it true that there is an anaconda in Gordon's apartment? Excuse me, where can I find the exit? Turn right. Thank you. Hey, have you have you seen the boss? No, no, who is that? The plumber. I've been working here for three days and I don't know anybody. Where's the exit? To the right. Thank you. <gasps> Be careful, why don't you look where you're going? I'm sorry, where's the exit? Right there. I see. Are you a new hire? Yes, this is my first day. Ah, who are you? My name's Artem, and what's your name? <laughs> I mean your department. Who am I? Mm -hmm. What is it that you do here at the hotel? Hmm. <sighs> An engineer. Ah, oh, great. My name is Arena. That's <laughs> great they recruited you so quickly. <laughs> I heard Lapin will be in the hospital for a long time. Lapin? Arena! Arena! Oh, Have you seen Kapitina? No. The plumber? Yes. No. Oh my Did God. you take the flowers to the yellow suite? Yes, I have. But the plumbing is broken. The room is full of water. Are you kidding? No. Can you repair plumbing? I can try. Do you have tools? Yes, we'll find some. Who is he? He's our new engineer. Now hurry up or Artem. the room will flood. Did the boss invite you? No, the governor. It's and funny. do you have tools? Yes. Oh my God. A towel, get a towel quick. Here it is. All right. So, yes, hold it here and yes. I'll turn the water off. Ah, hold ah, I'm holding hold it. it. Okay, wait a sec. I'll turn it off. Is it okay? Ah, ah. Are you crazy? You said you turned it off. Be quiet. Are you sure you're a plumber? I'm an oh, engineer, I like I said. Well, I turned it off. I don't believe you. Try it. <laughs> Did it work? Why are you laughing? Natasha, thank God you're here. Please bring me some dry clothes from the closet. Oh my God, you're all wet. I know. I need to change the bed Don't sheets. worry, I'll do it. Be quick. And you be quick too. Okay. Take long? No, it won't. Have you been working as a maid for a long time? No, this is my last day. Are you leaving? No, I've been promoted. Mm, my congratulations. You have a beautiful rare name. <laughs> Thank you. Your name is rare as well. Really? Are you married? What? I asked if you were married. Sorry for asking, it was just a question. That's okay. Uh-huh. <sighs> well, it seems to be fixed now. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay now. That's great. Mm. 
maybe we can have a cup of tea at the bar. No, no, I have a lot of work to do, and you're all wet. You better go change your clothes. You're right. Uh, you can go now. You're right. Uh, I need to go. Uh, and, uh, um, hmm? and the tea? Let's have it another time. You're going to be here a while, aren't you? Replacing Lapin, right? Yes, I'll be here for a week. <laughs> oh, you forgot your oh. bag. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Nat! Nat! Natasha, can we talk? Don't you see I'm in a hurry? You're always in a hurry. No, I can't right Judge now. Judge, get down. Go to room number 505 right away. A couple is checking in. The wife just told us that her husband wasn't allowed to drink. But I have to take this suit. They're on their way up now. But it's urgent. This is urgent too. Let him take the clothes. Here, uh, you have five uh, minutes to empty the mini bar. And where should I take it? Give it to Arena to take to Mrs. Stein's room. Sechkida, five no, minutes. That's great, there are 20 rooms. Hi, Vic. Hello. Do you know Mrs. Stein's room number by any chance? No, do you mean the ballet dancer? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Check with reception. She's not on my floor, thank God. Well, thank you. You should be careful. I heard that old broad killed her husband and came here to find a new one. <laughs> she also threw a vase at us once I know. before. Did you recognize that ballet dancer, Stein? I wonder how old she is. She must have had plastic surgery. I want a drink. Is there a mini bar? Don't even dream about it, darling. There's nothing but water. I think there's someone in here. Who could possibly be in here? Good day. I'm sorry for being late cleaning your room. We need to change the pillow. You deserve a better one than this. I'll be back. <gasps> Look at this room. Yeah, it looks really nice. Oh, and what a wonderful view. Why are you taking so long? Call me ASAP. Have you fixed the plumbing? What's going on? How long do I have to wait? I'm very sorry, but your room is not ready yet. Let me take you to the bar. Oh, that's just great. Well, can you tell me Arena Stein's room number? What's this? What are you doing here? What do you mean? You told me... If I understand correctly, this is your suit? Wait. Is there a woman with the same suit staying in this hotel? No, it's impossible. Can you not see the problem here? I'm going to get out of here. Ah, what a terrible coincidence. It's awful. But to forget this misunderstanding, let me take so you to the bar. I need to change clothes now. But your room is not ready yet. Then you will never see me again because I'm done. Regina, go get my coat, my purse. Artem, there's going to be a meeting with Stroy Invest representatives at 3 p.m. A dinner with Stroy Invest representatives. A meeting with the governor at 7.30. A meeting with the governor. And you have a press conference in the hotel at 8 p.m. Move it to tomorrow. You'll be busy tomorrow. Or maybe I can be sick? No, unfortunately. Too bad. And by the way, you're confirmed for the governor's ball. Do I have a date yet? Not yet. But, you know, it would probably be better if you came with one. So why don't you find me a 90-year-old woman? I'm tired of all these questions about my life. I'm afraid in that case there'd be a lot more questions coming your way. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. You know, sometimes I wish I could be on an uninhabited island. Where nobody knows who I am. Unfortunately, journalists are everywhere these days. I wish people could be nice to me, not just for my money. Artem, listen, we gotta get going. Huh? Oh, yeah. Give me ten minutes. I'll wait for you downstairs.
The room is ready. Where are you? Great. And where are you? The yellow deluxe suite is ready. Only took a year. Oh. Natasha, have you heard? The boss is with a ballet dancer. Her face seems to be full of Botox. It looks like a mask. Natasha, where is my suit? What do you mean? I mean that I'm standing here naked, wearing a bathrobe in the hallway by the yellow suite. Get out of there. They're on their way up. What do you mean up here? I asked you to please bring me my suit. But the boss interrupted me, and I sent Serasia to you. So wait. Hello? Hello. Hi. Nice bathrobe. It suits you. What were you doing there? I was checking the plumbing. Anybody else in there? No. Wait. Hello? Stay there. I'll go find him. Mrs. Stein, if you need something else, your luggage will be here in just if a minute. If you have a smart employee, please send her up to me right away. I want to fire my assistant. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just mind your own business. You are so incredibly incompetent. You were supposed to check everything. What if somebody came to the event wearing the same suit? Do you like it? I've cleaned this room a thousand times. Hmm. I'm just interested in the kind of man that likes staying here. Does that matter? I will be his personal manager as of tomorrow. Hmm, I'm made for a businessman. Frankly speaking, I went to school for management. Excuse me? I haven't finished my degree yet. For a personal reason. What kind of reason? It doesn't matter. To be honest with you... Hmm? I... I have a dream. I wish I could have my own little hotel. Ambitious. <laughs> yes, why not? How come he gets to do it? Maybe he's special. Yeah, he's special. What do you mean? He throws his socks on the floor like a typical man. <laughs> what kind of a weird habit is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awful. Does your husband throw socks? Tanya? Mommy, my competition starts in 30 minutes. I know that. But Daddy isn't here yet. What do you mean? You heard. He may just be running late. He's not going to come. Madre, where are you? What? Are you out of your mind? You promised her. She's waiting for you, Madre. You are such a horrible, you are such a scum. Is everything okay? No, it's not okay. My daughter Tanya has a competition today and no one is there to support her. Did your husband get tied up with business? No, I don't have a husband. Are you an idiot? Take it away immediately. Where? They had the wrong room. Where is the suit? It's there. Hello? Oh, hello. How do you do? Is everything okay? Yes, thank you. The hotel's great. Are you from the restaurant? What time is breakfast? From 8 to 10. It's for the guests. And from 6 to 7, it's for the staff. Thank you. Arena, is everything okay? Everything's fine. <sighs> Goodbye. Have a good night. Goodbye. Excuse me. Sir, please let me go. I need to go to my daughter's competition. <sighs> Did you just find out about it? No. My husband had promised to come, but he didn't. You know that my daughter needs my support. You can't. Thank you so much. No, you can't go. What do you mean? I'm not letting you go. Why? Take the suit off now, go upstairs and get changed. And go to the Yellow Deluxe Suite. 
You are the personal assistant to Irina Stein. I need to go to my daughter's competition. And I need to see my grandchildren. You know what? I'm going anyway. Yes? Come back. Mom, Mom, we're starting and Daddy is not here yet. Please calm down, my darling. Come back! Focus. I'm coming right now. Everything is going to be okay. What happened? Monve didn't show up again. I knew it. I will fire you. I don't you. care! Excuse me. No, no, please. Please wait. No, what's going on? We'll be on time. Artem, we're really late. Taxi? Look, we only have 15 please. minutes. Could knock it off. Taxi? What do you mean? Knock it off. Is there a problem? Yes. My daughter's performance will start in 20 minutes. Do you drive? Yes, yeah, sometimes. And taking the floor right now, we have Polishina, representing the sports school for children, you know. Thank you. coming back. He'll never live with us again, but it's not your fault. You can't change anything about it. Do you hear me? He promised me ice cream. Why does he always lie to me? I don't understand. I don't know. Why doesn't he love me? You silly girl. He loves you, and I love you, and grandmother loves you very much. You are the most beautiful, the most talented, the strongest, the best athlete, and we're going to get that first prize. Do you understand me? Okay, shh, shh, shh. So stop crying. Let's go home. Are you cold? Yes. Grandmother will make us a cup of tea. I don't make serious decisions at dinner. You know that. Fed you like a child. Yes, I'll be in a meeting, okay, but, okay, bye, okay. Is everything over? I was coming to watch the competitions. Mom, who's this? This is Uncle Artem. He is my co-worker. He drove me here. Yeah. I want to get acquainted with you. What's your name? I apologize for her. She's very upset. We had to cancel the performance we've been preparing for a long time. Mm-hmm. It's okay. That's too bad. But we need to fix this situation, don't we? Uh, do you want to go get some ice cream? Not now. I want some ice cream, and I also want to get lunch. I want to order a cake and french fries. No, chocolate is better. Hey, are you going to eat all that? I don't think so. I will. And what about an ice cream? 
Chocolate, raspberry, mango. Three scoops of raspberry. Tanya. I didn't know that gymnasts ate so much dessert. She doesn't usually eat so many desserts. Of course I do. She's joking, of course. She's just upset because her performance was Nobody canceled. Nobody canceled my performance. I started crying and I couldn't focus on the competition. And that's why I failed it. You didn't fail anything. It was my fault. I should have been there to begin with. I'm going to eat all the cakes and ice cream. I don't care anymore about my competitions. From now on, I'm not doing any more sports. Don't say that. Your cake, miss? And ice cream will be out in a minute. Don't do that. You can't quit sports. Oh, I can. You're very talented. How do you know that? You haven't seen me compete. Yeah, but I don't need to. That was the Governor's Cup, am I right? Only the very best can participate. But I was invited. So you're a pretender. How could anybody have missed this opportunity? Does your mother pay for this? Just imagine, you've taken an opportunity to participate in that competition away. And there's a little girl crying at home somewhere because she wanted to take but part. But I didn't do anything at all! What is he talking about? Artem. I played football when I was a little boy. Do you have an amulet? I do. It's a badge. It always helped me, even if I was in a bad mood, just like you were today. I took it in my hands, clenched my fist, and told myself, I can do it. And I did. And everything was great. The main thing was not to give up. Do you want me to give it to you? I don't have it with me right now, but I can give it to your mother later. Here is your dessert. Mmm, one for each. Oh, the desserts are great. It's so beautiful. Do you come here a lot? Honestly, it's on our way home. Mm. Mom wants to turn this house into a hotel. Mm. So, will you make your dreams come true? And who owns it now? Well, my mother's second cousin. He lives abroad and doesn't know what to do with the house. Mm -hmm. But I think it will make a great little boutique hotel. I've um, sent him a business plan, but he hasn't responded. Does that mean you would be an owner? A manager. Will you be an engineer in my hotel? I will. <laughs> Excuse me, hello? Let me show it to you, the view from the window. Irina, thank God. How did it go? It didn't go well? School competitions are not a good excuse. Yes. Vasily is standing right here and ask him when you're coming back to work. Oh, tomorrow, Mom. Ask him to understand. I can't leave Tanya right now. Arena, you need to take Tanya home and come back to the hotel. Mom, I already told you. You need a better reason. I don't want you to lose your job. Then tell him I broke my leg, okay? Bye. Vasily. Well? Vasily, please excuse us. Arena's ex-husband couldn't come and Tanya's crying. How could she leave her daughter? The same way that I did. I left my grandchildren alone at home. Tell her from me that she's fired. Vasily! Fired. Is everything okay? Yes. Excuse me now. We need to go back to work. I'll be right there. <sighs> Please excuse me, but I have to go back to work. I need to go too. <sighs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I haven't gone on a walk in forever. Thank you very much. It was very kind of you. You're welcome. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <gasps> Thank God you came back. Oh, Tanya, are you okay? Are you feeling better, honey? Yes, everything is That's okay. That's great. Let's sit down and talk about everything. Well, go see him. He's in the lobby drinking coffee. You need to talk to him. He's very angry. He says you're fired. Go, go talk to him. <laughs> Did you see who's at the hotel? Yeah, I saw him. Excuse me, sir.
Do you have a minute? Please forgive me. I couldn't have done it in any other way. <sighs> you have to understand. After all, you have children too. Yes, I have children and grandchildren, but I'm also a responsible person. I think they teach that as the last course before you graduate university, and you haven't graduated. So, that's all. Don't come back tomorrow. Only to HR. Arena. So that's it. I'm going to start crying. I'm going to miss you. Well, try and talk to him tomorrow. He's angry today. He'll calm down by tomorrow. No, it was my fault. Look, he was late a half an hour last week. His wife left and he had to take the grandchildren to kindergarten. I'm gonna miss getting all the gossip from you. Where do you hear it? I hear it everywhere. <laughs> Have you heard the news? The ballet dancer Stein from the Yellow Deluxe Suite? I had to change the flowers. And she threw the vase? She gave me a compliment. She said I was more helpful than her assistant. So I'm not worried about Have you. Have you seen her assistant? She looks like a mouse. She wants to fire her. Listen, <gasps> maybe she will hire me as her new assistant. But she travels a lot and you don't speak any other languages. I'll study them. I will do it for the job. For what? Do you want to be at that crazy woman's beck and call? What are you talking about? There will be great parties all the time. What if I finally meet a millionaire? I have no idea. Come back. We'll see. Natasha! Natasha! What? I wanted to talk to you. Well, let's talk. Natasha, I wanted... What's this? It's just a magazine of a client. Mm -hmm. There are cool cars. Natasha, I... Fell in love, go on. Yes, I fell in love. She is older than me. Oof. What? Natasha. <gasps> this is our new plumber. Well, yes. He has millions. But he repairs the plumbing? What a kind of man. What's wrong? Nothing. Natasha, you... You're a fool. Uh. <sighs> Tanya, would you like some juice? Mm-hmm. Irina, would you? No, thank you, Mom. I'll get the door. Oh, hello, come in. Hello, Aranochka. I have a telegram for you from abroad. Please sign here. From abroad? Grandma, we have good news for you. What news? Mommy has a new boyfriend. <sighs> come on, Tanya. Goodbye. Your uncle Jaroslav Vladimir is dead. Irina, who was it? A telegram. Is it from my cousin? Uh-huh. What? Is he coming to visit? Why are you so quiet? No, mother. He's not coming. What is he doing with the house? How long can we maintain it? Let him sell it once and for all, for goodness sake. Mom. What? Uncle is dead. Regina, come here. Right now. 